You're probably watching this because you feel like system design and tuning is something you want to dive into. You want to be able to put up a measurement microphone, take measurements, get good data in the field. You want to be able to design great systems in advance. But you've searched around on YouTube and you've stumbled upon my channel, or maybe you're watching me for a little while and want to learn more. And that's what we're going to cover today. I'm going to show you exactly where to start and how to move forward and the resources that are going to become integral to your growth. My name is Michael Curtis. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. But before we jump into our main segment, I've got a gift for you. It's right here. It's my MKC Audio Toolkit. It's available at the link below. It's got a bunch of fantastic resources um, on system tuning, audio planning, uh, this is probably the most popular one, the Audio Mass Survival Spreadsheet, but I'm going to be giving you a specific one today. It's my, basically, the title of this video, if you're new, where to start. So make sure and get that the link below at producedbymkc.com slash audio toolkit. This is where we're going to be walking through step by step. And by getting on, uh, by downloading this, it's also going to put you on my email list. And I think that would be great in the next coming weeks as the as the filming of this, this video, at least, because I've got something really exciting coming for you for, if you're a beginner. Uh, it's a resource I've been working on for a while and is, it is going to finally be out in the wild. I've got some, some beta testers working through it right now and getting some great feedback. So make sure to download this, get on my email list and stay tuned. Um, sometimes it goes to spam, so make sure and check that. But let's jump right into this resource that's going to help kickstart your growth in your audio journey. Here we are in my audio toolkit. I've got a table of contents below that can take you to any resource you need to get. But today we're going to be focusing on my sound system. If you're new to sound system design, basically my, my start here resources. So if you click on that in the table of contents, it'll bring you here. It says brand new. Click on the page. And here you are. So this page has all the resources, most of which are, or I wouldn't say most, but the half and half, half are mine and half are me pointing you to other people who are way smarter than me that have fantastic resources that I've learned from. So we're going to go those through those today, step by step. First up is watch my start here YouTube playlist. So if you were to click on the watch on YouTube button, it would take you here. And it has right here on the right hand side, a playlist of 15 videos that I would watch in that order. So it talks about speaker placement and then some terms you might need to know, building a sound system, sound system tuning rig for under $250, how to connect it all together, the software you need to learn that's free and open source. Anyway, so that is a, it's a place for new because I've got over 50 videos on the channel now. So this gives you, hey, start here, especially if you're new, or if you've been watching my stuff for a while, but I've come out a little bit later, make sure and go fill in the gaps with some of these might, might, might be earlier uh, and get on the same page. I'm going to be adding to these as time goes on or film other things that fall into this category of beginner learning. So make sure uh, and revisit it as I'm continuing to, continuing to update it and tweak it. Going back here, next thing you should do is join to the Signal to Noise podcast Discord channel. So if you're unfamiliar, this is a podcast that's uh, run by Pro Soundweb. They've got three awesome hosts. The podcast itself is great, so definitely subscribe to that. But in my humble opinion, what's even more valuable is this Discord channel. Um, there's seasoned veteran system engineers. There's folks who work for manufacturers. There's there's independent contractors. All are in here who are answering questions. Uh, sharing articles. I was even looking in here this morning and someone asked about uh, measuring loudspeakers and then Michael Lawrence, who we'll talk about in a little bit, suggested this article. So anyway, so it's, it's just a really great place to ask any question, even if it feels like a dumb question and have people who really want you to learn do that. To be clear, this is a free software. If you're unfamiliar with Discord, it's like a Slack or a very similar chat. There are threads in here, I think it's what they're called or a channel. I forget. But here I hang out in the sound system engineering one. If you're also new and want some mentoring, there's a mentor one. We can ask more career related questions about how do I get more gigs or how do I negotiate uh, my day rate with this client who's trying to cheat me out, you know? Anyway, so definitely get in here. It is great. It's been really helpful to me and it's been great to help people in here as well. So make sure and check that one out. Next, I would read these two amazing books. And so speaking of Michael Lawrence, who was just there in the Discord forum, he just put out his first book and I hope he does more. But if you're just wanting an overall framework from the craft, from a seasoned systems engineer who has worked with Lawrence, with Miguel, with Danny Elfman, with Metallica, 
just really knows his stuff. Um, I, I feel like this is a great place to start. It just to have it all in one condensed uh, place. It's him just filtering more his way of thinking, um, not something that's really specific to a manufacturer or their own workflow. It's that you can apply this to any system. So, uh, so between the lines, concepts and sound system design and alignment, definitely get that and you can get it to where, wherever you want at Barnes & Noble, Am Amazon. Next, after you finish that one, it can kind of give you a, a foundation of the craft. I would then move on to the Mayama Jamma, which is Bob McCarthy's book, which is right here. If you've been on my channel for any amount of time, you've probably seen me do this. It's 570 pa 577 pages of awesome. Um, I remember taking this with me uh, several years back to uh, Thanksgiving with with uh, my wife's family. And she's like, you're voluntarily reading that. I'm like, yes, it's awesome. And so if you just want from ver ground zero all the way through, I can work into an arena and know, know my stuff, how sound works together, um, what what to do, not to do. Anyway, it, it just trust me, it's all there. So it's a commitment for sure. But uh, even if you're not going to read it cover to cover, it's just a great reference tool. So definitely get that. Next, we're moving on to the, the several blogs and publications. So first up is Pro Sound Web Study Hall. So Pro Sound Web's been around a long time. I think they've got a forum as well, but they have a fantastic archive of just here's some cool stuff you should learn and know. So going to, uh, yeah, playing the hand you're dealt, part one of engineers work at a first major tour. So this is a system engineer on tour Work, working through, here's the lessons she learned on the road, which is invaluable. So it's real people who are actively working in the industry, publishing articles to help you to grow. Uh, so the relationship between time and frequency. And the this is another great one from Michael Michael Lawrence, so just about how to, to really take your craft seriously and put in the effort. Anyway, so the study hall here, there's, again, hundreds of articles here. Make sure and check that out. Michael Lawrence, whose book we mentioned earlier, is a technical editor here, so you can be sure that it is something that um, it's going to be fact-checked and good to go. An independent blog I've learned a ton from is Merlin Van Veen's blog. I had the wrong link here. Merlin. There we go. So he currently works for Meyer Sound as their, their lead education director, but he also has a study hall page that has a bunch of great ones. Oh, this is a new one from him. I haven't read yet, or at least I, I need to check it out. Anyway, but thinking about phase and low frequencies, peak to average ratio, again, there's 10 pages or 12 pages of this stuff. So definitely check out his stuff. I uh, One of my favorites from him is called Pick Your Battles. And um, so check that article out. Then we have Michael Lawrence's blog, back to his stuff. Again, you can see a, a common theme of him <laughs> publishing a lot. Anyway, so this is all podcast or uh, posts that are on his own independent blog. So definitely check that as well. Again, a wealth of knowledge. And next I'll go to Nathan Lively's blog. He uh, has a great, uh, he has a great podcast as well, the Sound Design Live podcast, and has another just great archive of posts so you can go here and again now it's up to 309 which is great so he's got a bunch of stuff too just use command f and search for stuff he can get you up and running with smart he can do uh, i got to speak at his live sound summit so check that out anyway so these are all some independent resources you publish on their own blogs that are great next if you, if you just don't you want less buckets to dive into and just specific videos to go if you're going to get into this field, you're probably going to need to be tuning or building a sound system rig. And we usually think, well, it's expensive. Well, 250 bucks isn't something to, to uh, you know, it's it's a real amount of money, but it's not crazy. So here I teach you how to build a sound system rig for under $250. I've got the Google Doc here for here for you right here with everything you need to buy. I think there's actually even a cheaper interface than this that doesn't have the MIDI inputs. So double check me there. Um, anyway, check that out if you want to build a rig. Next, I would learn these measurement and prediction software. So in addition to establishing the, the channels in which you're ingesting really good information, you have to be able to put it to work in the field. You don't just want to be this, this gathering um, and get really fat and happy information and never process it. So one way to process it while you're not on shows is to practice in your own space and then also do predictions and designs. So you need to be able to 
know a rig before you hang it. You need to practice reading data and solidify key audio concepts. And this is where you do it. So first up is open sound meter. I've got a tutorial on it right below, but brings you right here. And it is a dual channel or single channel analyzer that is open source and pay what you want. You can also get it on iPad or iOS for I think $39 now, but has all the basic functions. It's really easy to use. Everything is all in one place. And he just had a really great update to it that has some, some really, really cool things you should check out. So if you want an audio analyzer to get started with, uh, if maybe something like Smart, uh, the price tag right now feels a little bit prohibitive, I would start here, get comfortable with it, get comfortable with the concepts. And if you want to have a few more bells and whistles uh, and maybe some more features and some be able to share things a little bit easier with the broader industry, I would then upgrade to Smart later on. But I think it's always good to have two if you have a system critical piece of software, I think it's always good to have two that you know really well. Because if one goes down, there's an update and the show must go on, you can at least do it with the other one. Next is getting a 30 day demo from Smart. I will learn Open Sound Meter first and then go to Smart. If you're unfamiliar, it's just like Open Sound Meter in that it's a it's a audio measurement and analysis suite. And here in Smart, you can do SPL, you can do transfer functions for frequency response. But anyway. Uh, get a 30 day demo of that, learn the software. You can also from rational acoustics, you can buy hardware. If you end up needing it, you can get sign up for some training. So anyway, they're a fantastic company. They have a great support. You can even, uh, ask for some of the support technicians hang out here in this, this discord channel. So if you have any questions about smart or what to do there, check that out. So I would get open sound meter, get familiar with it, get my demo or get my tutorial, get up to speed. And then once you feel really fluid with that, then get smart and get fluid with that as well. Next is the prediction software, Ease Focus 3. So this is where you can download it, but it is a system design and analysis uh, tool and manufacturers like QSC, JBL, even some from Meyer, whatever, have basically give you a GLL file they can import into this software and you can simulate loudspeakers in a room and predict their coverage and measurements. I've got a full tutorial on that here. And I've also included a Dropbox link to a bunch of the GLL files that I've had I have and have used before for my designs. So you don't have to go to each individual manufacturer's website and download all these. Again, if you need a specific one that's not here, it's easy to do, but here are all the ones that I've used and you can have that right here. Download this file. You're gonna go into Ease and hit import system definitions and then you will have all of these here and can pull them in. Next is need to learn Map 3D and Map XT. So this is from Meyer. Meyer Sound has their 3D prediction software, much like Ease Focus 3, but I think it's even more robust because you can get phase data. You can just do a little bit more with putting a microphone virtually in the space and like you're actually tuning it and getting better data. Anyway, so again, I actually don't use Meyer products all that. They're not just common in my neck of the woods, but even just from a learning perspective, I would definitely learn Map 3D. I've used it a ton in my other videos. If that scares you a little bit, I'd start here with MapXT. It is the 2D legacy version. You just need an internet connection and it's a great way to start. And I can find myself getting up faster and easier in MapXT than Map3D. But if you just want to bite the bullet and view things in 3D, you can definitely do that there. Moving on to the tail end here. Oh, I got a tutorial from Map3D right here if you're new to that. And then get on Tracebook is the last one. It's like I got plenty of tabs open here. So here in Tracebook, it is an independent public nonprofit community that promotes the open exchange of loudspeaker system reference data. So you can measure it yourself in the field. Every manufacturer can give us a squiggly line for what the magnitude response is supposed to look like, but it's not that they're trying to be untruthful. We just want to what, see it looks like in the wild, look at the unit unit tolerance. Sometimes they don't give us, always give us uh, phase data. So if I go here to a new measurement, take my Nathan Lively, I've actually used this sub before, I'm pretty sure. Oh, never mind. I use a different KS-118 that he's measured. And we can look at the magnitude response, then also the phase data. And we can download this R, uh, and uh, use it and import it into our, our audio analyzers and compare it against what we're getting in the field. So if it's the same, we can trust that, hey, this is behaving how it's supposed to. 
I actually think I have one in here. I'm going to be up uploading some more soon, but to look at a different speaker, let's uh, a KW 153 right here. I've used this one. I have used this specific speaker as well. This is at a warehouse in town that we got measured at and we can see it's frequency response. And uh, I think it was taken outside. So there's a little bit, a little bit of high frequency weirdness up here. And anyway, but I can look at its phase response, compare it to what's happening in the field. And I can download that just by clicking here and import that into my software and be able to compare it against what I'm getting at. All right, that was a bunch of stuff here. Uh, it's so first, just start with this YouTube playlist, start to get comfortable, hop into the Discord channel, ask questions, and then on your own, you can start to sift through these other places. Again, so at the top, uh, I've got something really excited, exciting coming for you in a couple weeks as far as another resource for beginners. So definitely check that out. You can make sure and get that by being on my email list by going to the link below, which gives you access to my entire audio toolkit. Again, my name is Michael Curtis. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll catch you next time.